The slavery of humanity is the problem. Living according to natural law is the solution. So there are only two ways to create change. Only two ways. Philosophy and technology. So philosophy, philos, Sophia, this is Latin, philo, meaning loving. Sophia is knowledge or wisdom. So philosophy means for the love of wisdom. Philosophy is the internal process of contemplating a problem or a question. Birds, they're agreeing with me. I don't know if you guys can hear that. The birds are pretty wild out here. Anyways, um, so philosophy is vital. This is the internal modality. Wh whatever whatever the, the topic or category of information is, there is philosophy there. It's the internal process of using logic and reason and intuition to think, to contemplate and have introspection on that the issue on the problem it always starts internally in the mind and in the heart it's processed internally and then it's once you come to understanding then you can activate and implement in the external world and this is where technology comes in right technology from Greek technologia which means technique method or system of art, skill, or craft in work. This is the external process of using a tool to solve a problem, right? If you, you are tired of eating with your hands, you internally contemplate that problem, and then you understand the problem, and you also imagine potential solutions right so a fork was created in the mind first everything is created in the mind initially then it is processed and implemented in the external world and manifested created as a fork right solves a problem now when when we're talking about what is going on in the world, the slavery of humanity, the philosophy of why this is going on, this is where natural law, understanding objective morality and natural rights, this is what I am doing, the majority of my work, right? It's, it's philosophical in nature. I'm explaining why we are in this condition. What can we do? To, to get out of this condition, right? This is all, this is all uh, philosophy. Philosophy nowadays, I mean, you just think about people, who they look up to, what are their mentors, where do they get their information from? It's sad. It's sad. No one, no one holds high the great minds, the Walter Russells, the Rudolf Steiners, the Nikola Teslas. There's so many that we can go down. Paracelsus. There's so many great minds that, that aren't even taught in modern education, and that's for a reason, right? They don't want people to think and understand philosophy because a philosophical mind absolutely will use reduction to reduce and get down to the causal factors. That's what, philoso that's what philosophy is. It's for the love of wisdom. There's also action there. You're not just thinking to think. You're thinking to act in the world. So technology is that tool. Once we understand the problem internally and we do that work internally and we have a, a deep understanding of objective morality and natural law, then we are ready to implement that and activate 
and execute in the real world. And we do that through technology. Now, technology is neutral. A tool is just a tool. Now, it depends on the wield the wielder of that tool and how that tool is utilized in the natural world is what matters. So, of course, you know, a gun can be for self-defense. A gun can also murder someone. You don't blame the tool. It's the person performing the action that takes responsibility and has the moral culpability of, of themselves, of that action, that behavior. So this is very important. So as within, so without. As within philosophy, so without technology.